Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. If I were to analyze not each and every article, but most articles uh, promoted by the mainstream mass media in the United States of America, the so-called uh, free mass media, I would be doing every day only that and analyzing in what way? Analyzing uh, how they uh, create, how they spin the, the, the piece of news or how they create media, they create uh, narratives because they either do it by omission or they do it by big stretches, not by evidence. So, when uh, I use uh, present tense simple, which is I cook food, that, that's a fact. When I say I cook food, there's no doubt in it. It's something that I do. Well, in general, uh, I am cooking food. That means I'm doing it right now as a fact. Now, if I say I might cook, that is uh, in the future, I might possibly, no? or I could, maybe I'm able to, I could, I, maybe I have the, maybe I could, you know, but it's not a certainty. So, the authors of articles in the media, they are professionals. They should be at least. I have great doubt. So, uh, they know which way they should go with the story. They want to push on us the spin. And then they have to be masters in using grammar, language. That's their job. Author. They write. I don't know if they can write like this, but like this. Okay? So, we have an article here from CNN with a video. And all this is created, it's put together by someone. And it's on CNN. CNN is very well known around the world. And I'm going to show you in this little montage, I think it's about two or three minutes, a video. I will show you how these guys from the title, the headline, which is at, um, I don't know, I would say present tense kind of. It's a fact. It's not might, could, ought, should, nothing like that. Let me start with the, by portraying this uh, woman. She is Budanov, Kirill Budanov's wife, who was allegedly poisoned by heavy metal Metallica or Iron Maiden or Manowar. Okay. So I knew, and probably you did the same, that the first suspect would be Russia. But for me, what gave it away that it's not really Russia, or at least I have big, uh, how should I put it, um, doubt, is that it was unsuccessful. Now, when you want to do this kind of things, you want to poison someone with heavy metals, that's kind of like what? They didn't put the right quantity? I mean, those are professionals in doing this kind of crimes. All right? So is Mossad and others on the same business. So here we have an unsuccessful, again, attempted murder by poisoning. They will immediately call it Russians. Do they have any evidence? The answer is no. But look at the title. They will try to make it as an evidence. And I'm quoting, someone said this, personal revenge by Putin. That's a statement. It's not, it could be a personal revenge, the suspect is put. No, it's in quotation marks, isn't it? Click, click. Personal revenge by Putin. That means they know it was Putin. Now, do you think that Putin will take personal revenge on her because of uh, Budanov? If that would be so, if Putin would react like an animal instinctually and, you know, with pathos like tards, he would have nuked them, all of them, in the first day of the invasion. And nobody would have moved. Everybody would like, shit. I will tell you a story, maybe if I have time, regarding when we all froze when someone shot around us, okay? So the same here. He doesn't have to go with this and that. Why do you think he cares about the world community? He can make up a lie. Right now he is accused without evidence. There's no evidence. There's no evidence. But he's accused. Why not do it and say, yeah, man, it was us. Or uh, do it and say, no, man, it was the Americans. 
Your word against my word. You can bring whatever evidence you want. I will deny it. You brought evidence in front of the United Nations with Saddam Hussein's uh, weapons of mass destruction laboratories everywhere. Remember, Colin Power made a fool of himself. But hey, the Amer some Americans bought it. So here it is. Let's go and watch this. It says here, Mariana Budanova, the wife of Ukraine's top military intelligence official, has been hospitalized with apparently... Apparently doesn't mean if you should have taken it out if it was for real. Apparently, what it seems like could be, might, mm, so it's doubtful. Apparently, it, it appear, appears to be heavy metals poisoning. According to Ukrainian and Western officials, they put the Western officials as if they are over there. No, they were informed by the Ukrainians. Why do you think they were over there? The Western officials let me, the doctors, Western doctors checked on her. No, it's what they were told by the Ukrainians. Let's be straight. So again, they put the Western officials, they said it. Why? Because the Ukrainians said it. That, it, that's not two, witness, two witnesses here. It's one that told someone else something that we don't know is true. Because they said, apparently. CNN senior international correspondent Friedrich Plyton Plyt 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 has, has more. Oleg Plyton. So we have this video. Where is it? it oh, right here. <laughs> I was going down. And let's see this, right, where, she's, where they said. And remember... They will, I will stop the video from time to time when these guys are getting to idiots. And um, I have to stop it, stop it probably at each 30 seconds because these guys are going to be idiots every 30 seconds. So let's go and see if it works. Commercial or something? Nah, no, Mercedes, no, it's, it's not the time. I know, but it's not the time, baby doll, stay home. All right, so let's uh, have that gone with Mercedes. Uh, so, all right, uh, it's just going to be me watching. So, nevertheless, uh, expect uh, idiocracy here because I, I listened to it before. I usually don't, but this is what attracted me. I said, let me see what kind of evidence these guys bring. And uh, no surprise, there was none. No, no evidence, but hey, let's see. Oh, Mercedes, there you go. Military intelligence wages war in the shadows, but it is hitting the Russians hard. Orchestrating cruise missile attacks on Vladimir Putin's Black Sea fleet, ousting Moscow's forces from oil and gas drilling platforms off the coast of occupied Crimea in a daring amphibious assault. That's not a fact. They didn't try, they did and did attack them. It doesn't mean they kicked them out. But nevertheless, he said they did. Attacking the Russian capital with long distance combat drone. Now that is a terrorist attack, Mr. CNN. What's your name? You said, Plyden no Brema. So that's a terrorist attack. When you attack civilian infrastructure and what you saw over there, that's a terrorist attack. He says just, he says like it's a fantastic thing. If that would have happened to New York City, how would that have been happened? Uh, let's say by the Iraqis, how would have been uh, reported? Terrorist attack. Let me go back. The daring amphibious assault and attacking the Russian capital with long distance combat drones <laughs> while maintaining deniability. <laughs> the man leading the intelligence service GUR is Kirillo Budanov, one of Russia who said that it's okay with killing uh, as many Russians and blah, blah, blah. Most feared enemies. Most feared. I don't think it's more fear. They could blow him up with a nuclear weapon, but there is not more fear. But anyway, whatever. He makes the point. That's his uh, uh, choice. I appeal to Russian soldiers, to those who got lucky enough to survive in destroyed trenches, he recently said. It will be even worse. You have a choice. Die or save your life. But now Ukraine believes the Russians may have struck back. Kiev Ukraine believes. I believe a pig can fly. A belief is not something that's necessary based on reality or back. I can believe in God. I can believe in a pig. I can believe something would happen tomorrow. It's not like I assessed. This is my conclusion. I think it's a different believes. That means not certain. Budanov's wife, Mariana Budanova, has been poisoned by what they say is, quote, a heavy metal. A Ukrainian sword. What they said. 
telling CNN Budanova tested positive for both arsenic and mercury poisoning. Ukrainian officials believe the Kremlin could be behind it. Like They believe the Kremlin could be. Remember the statement, the, the, the title of this? Putin takes revenge or something? So could be. They believe the first doubtful thing and then could be. Might be, the Americans could be, the French could be. And you got this idiot right here, the round-headed. Foreign minister right here on out front. Definitely our intelligence chief uh, is the enemy of Russia, as all of us are, all those who are fighting against Russia. So it's highly likely that Russia is, is behind it. Highly likely. Highly likely is not is. Highly likely is not is. It's like, for instance, the United States is highly likely to have been blown uh, Nord Stream 1, Nord Stream 2 pipelines. It's highly likely. Is it uh, the one? No, we don't know. So they don't know. As of now, they didn't provide any evidence. Believe highly likely could be behind. Now, that's not... Uh, use that in a court of law to, let's say, provide evidence that someone did something. It's highly likely could be him, all right, and I believe it's him. Go and see how, if we will still function by the, the by, uh, the, I don't know, our civilization's norms of justice. Let's see this one. Is another guy who's going to come with could, might, blah, blah. Kremlin-controlled media already in a feeding I'm not going to go in that. Intelligence. Intelligence. Under the oh, leadership. jumped over here. This is unbelievable. Precedes what Prigozhin has done. All right. Let's wait a little bit. Not very sensational, but Ukrainians and their Western owners literally screamed from such news and began to blame Putin. But in a different episode, they brought in a Russian parliamentarian accused of poisoning and killing a former Russian agent in London in two... Accused. You know what's accused? I accused the neighbor of stealing my bike. Okay, uh, Emil, where's your evidence? When I accuse him, what does that mean? means zero. When you accuse, everybody can accuse when it's about bringing evidence, then it, you have to go in front of a court, in front of a judge, and prove the evidence. So again, these guys bring this guy as being the accused one, nothing proven, that he knows. And he's going to say something that I can tell you, and that doesn't make me the author of the alleged poisoning of Budanova. Listen to this idiotic thing. The point this idiot makes, not the, the Russian, the whoever his name is. Six to explain how it would be done. Would. Was something slipped in her tea and she drank it. There's no other way to poison food and drink other than to pour it in and slip it in somehow. Was that, uh, he, he did, did he reveal that, that, that guy, did he reveal some special technique? No, we just put it in the food and give it to the guy. I could have told you that. It's not something like I have to go to school and learn in a KGB school. Oh, Again, and they, they, this guy, what the fuck is this guy's name? Because he's, I'm getting irritated with this idiot. Uh, Frederick, Frederick, senior, senior international correspondent. That means he has experience. Senior, Frederick Pleitgen, 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 whatever. This Pleitgen, Frederick Nietzsche, unfortunately. Uh, makes no point so far, and he continues with his idiotic little video. In the past, the U.S. and others have accused Vladimir Putin. Accused Vladimir Putin. They accused. I accused my neighbor. But it, okay, accuses. When they say you know, in America, accused, they uh, is already guilty. Like, for instance, when you have a, a sexual abuse case or uh, someone reports something, they get fired or they get uh, whatever removed for an accusation. An accusation is not guilty. It's an accusation. That's all it is. It needs to be investigated. Evidence brought. Ask. Defense. Offense. Jesus Christ. Prosecutors. Lawyers. Judges. <sighs> Irritating. Of ordering poison attacks on his opponents. Accused. And few groups have enraged the Russian leader more than Ukraine's military intelligence led by Budanov, the former head of Ukraine. That's what he says. So nobody, according to Friedrich, enraged Putin. How do you know that? Did you ask him? Did you ask him? What's your evidence? What's, Friedrich, what's your evidence that no one than Budanov? 
How do you know he's not angry with the uh, Russian hookers, uh, ladies of the night, because his uh, junk did not uh, harden up? Huh? How do you know that? This guy talks without providing evidence. That's make-believe. That's an ideology. That guy is a spin doctor. Not a very good one, I must, I must say. Again, uh, he is the, the... He's not. If he, that would have been the case and Putin wasn't that guy blown up, guarantee it would have happened already. I guarantee you 99%. If he's so omnipowerful, somehow Budanov is better. Again, he's uh, whatever the best uh, enemy. Let's see what this guy said, who's another guy who's going to say an idiocracy here. Foreign intelligence says. I believe that this was a personal... I believe that it was a personal... From Putin. Personal revenge for all the shame. He's battling those effects. Again, we're going to go back. I believe that this was a personal revenge from Putin. Terry intelligence led by Budanov, the former head of Ukraine's foreign intelligence says. He believes. I believe that this was a personal revenge from Putin. Personal revenge for all the shame that the defense intelligence under the leadership of Budanov have inflicted on him. Shame that's... So he believes with no evidence. He implies. It's like, for instance, if tomorrow rains is because, I don't know, I... Uh... I didn't do the, uh, the morning prayer. I don't think like this. People don't think like this anymore. Unfortunately, they do. So the Greeks 2,400 years ago taught us something to question and to try to, uh, you know, find out what's behind the, the Zeus's thunderbolt. Remember? Since then, we know that it's not Zeus with his thunderbolt. We, start, we started finding a, a kind of a scientific method of discovering well, through empirical observation at least, and with logic and objectivity, right? We understand, we get closer to what actually happened. Did this guy is born behind two, 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 be, before 2,400 uh, years ago, which is about 400 years uh, uh, before Common Era. That's when the, we got all those fantastic ancient Greeks with uh, discovering that. And still, they didn't get it. He believes it's a personal thing. If Putin functioned like that, Ukraine would be wiped, Jesus, wiped from the map. That's what would have been already. But it's not. It's not. So again, this is the former. So this work in the system and he thinks like that. So there's no connection. You have, you have, to, have, for, uh, you have to provide more connections that are related, correlated with one another to say that was his... Not, that's what he's uh, make-believe. Yeah, it's because he's angry with Budanov, Budanov is stuff. It must be because of that. And he's not killing Budanov. He's just going around to hurt Budanov. If he can't kill Budanov, he's going to kill her. She's with him all the time, with Budanov. That's what Budanov uh, uh, bragged. We're 24-7 uh, together. Uh, 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 uh. That's what he said. So she get poisoned, he get, doesn't get poisoned. Maybe he want to get rid of her, get his, uh, uh, another girlfriend. A younger one with not blah, 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 those lips. Do you see those lips? Anyway, not with her. So <laughs> it's, it's your problem, Budanov. But it seems like he tried to solve it and now he's like, oh, Putin did it. <laughs> oh man, let's see what does this garbage says. See what Prigozhin has done to him. And Aaron, the Kremlin hasn't issued direct denial of these allegations, but they. And neither did the United States. So uh, Kremlin did not deny because they don't have to deny anything. Uh, there's no, uh, uh, you know, any, any, any official accusation by any, any court of law. Why should they? Well, if you feel it, neither the United States. They didn't issue a direct denial or France neither. Why, why would the Russians give it? Because they're the suspects. They have to answer each and every stupidity these guys come, come with. This is the spin doctor right here. I, I think this is the guy. This is the guy. This is the level. This is uh, not the level. And they got the Brandenburg Tor in Germany over there, which is garbage. We got all kinds of other flags on it. Seem to be trying to brush them off. Seem to be trying. They don't care. They don't care. You don't, you don't uh, deserve an answer. As well, the Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov, he came out and he said, quote, Ukraine blames Russia for everything. All this, of course, as Kirillo Budanov's wife is battling those effects of that poisoning. All right, my friends. So this is the great, great statements 
coming from and a great, um, how do you call it? Um, um, yeah, of course, it does all kind of hanky panky. I don't want to eat your garbage, eat your garbage over there. So this is the reporting. Have you seen, have you heard any evidence? Did you hear the title? Was that anything provided with a personal revenge by Putin? Said by a guy who made a connection because Putin was humiliated somehow by Budanov's successes. Really? Okay, well, let's say there were some successes. Why didn't he blow up Budanov in Kiev? Because he couldn't? Why would he kill her and is unsuccessful? Remember when those things in, uh, in Great Britain occurred and they said, well, it was the Russians. I don't believe it was the Russians. I don't believe it whatsoever. Don't believe it. You know why? My friends, poisoning, you re go and read books, materials. Don't get into KGB or CIA or Mossad or MI6. You don't have to do that. Just read books about uh, actions or not actions, operations conducted, for instance, by Mossad with mercury poured in your ear in the street, pointed with uh, umbrellas, with a pin in front, poisoned, pin to, ah, just passing by, oh, sorry, and you get poisoned, you get killed. There's so many ways, my friends. The, the, the information is there. It's not, I don't, I didn't go uh, training at KGB, you know, I'm not going to deny going to CIA training. Uh, and, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, guys, stop. So again, it's not some secret. And these guys, they miss, uh, I think, on two occasions in uh, uh, London. They cannot kill uh, that guy, uh, what's his name, uh, Navalny, who's in prison, which is just f f oh, give him some food and he's going to be dead. Again, not dead somehow. And before they allow everybody to go in, they burn the cadaver, cadaver and that's it. It's too toxic, too toxic. I don't know what happened to him. The, the Martians came, the, the aliens came, aliens. I don't believe these things are a done deal. But anyway, I'm going to stop with that. I think it convinced you this weasel from CNN. And these guys are still in business. If I would make such an article here, right over here, right? I expect people to ask me not a question. These guys to block me with their community guidelines and garbage. And these guys are operating in plain view around the globe and he's a senior uh, cnn uh, nyum, 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 nyum. makes how many hundreds of thousands of dollars if not millions a year that guy for that i can do that better than him or less hire him fire me or vice versa thank you very much for being with me again today just kidding uh you see one reason why I'm doing this and nothing weasel-like is because I can't... Uh, <coughs> it's like a poison. <coughs> Heavy metal poisoned. Poison, okay? From uh, if I... Not... You know, let's put it this way, this way. I don't like not telling the truth. Uh, yeah, obviously, we have to sometimes uh, say certain things. Uh, so you don't get in trouble that you're not going to escape ever or something. But it's not a pleasurable thing. It's, it's painful. It's painful to lie. Well, those guys are swimming in that day and night. What kind of human being must they be? Doesn't hurt them? Sleep well night? Still, mm -mm. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart. Look for the truth and be just.